Hello everyone, hopefully you can hear me. We are on Autumn Oaks. So, let me know if you can hear me or not in the chat. Hopefully you can. So we are f spraying with some old iron. I think I found this sprayer a long time ago. Many people asked me where I found it. I think somebody found it on the old school modding Facebook site. So you can find it there. I'm sure it's in their post link. So old school modding has a post link where you can find all the mods. So hopefully it'll be easy for you to find. I really like how these fold out. They fold out so realistic. Cable actuated little sprayer booms. Let's get to spraying because we need to make these crops produce good because we don't got much money. Hey Kelly. Hey Riley. Farmer Jack. So who here played on Autumn Oats on FS17? Thank you, toys, tractors, trucks, and some dogs. That's like, I like your name. Hey, Kelly. Hey, country boy. Uh, the combine. I think I'm going to post this map and probably the combine because I don't think you can get that. Unless you might be able to find it in Buster's community. Uh oh. Given this old sprayer push up this hill. It's really struggling up this hill. Thank you, Thatcher. Hey, Ashley. Hey, Corey. You need to pay attention to my sprayer. I might break off a boom. So, Autumn Oaks was one of my favorite maps in FS17. I think it's just the realism it shows. So, I was kind of disappointed when I first came out in 19 because there was so much lag, especially with the 1.4 uh, update. So, I was finally able to fix it. I think a few people have fixed this map, to be honest, but all I did is something in the center farm, and we might go down there later on this stream, was causing the lag, so I had to delete it completely, which is unfortunate because that was my favorite farm on the map, but it's alright. You know with these uh, shaders on, I can barely see where I sprayed. Like, I think I'm leaving some. Let's do a little in cab. This thing should really have the foamers on the wings. So not too detailed inside the cab. To be honest, I have never sat in one of these 6000 series sprayers, so I don't know how real detailed it is inside. Hey, the real Cooper one. Thank you, Will. The Farming King. So, I'm only going to do shout outs for the first couple minutes, so. Because it kind of can be annoying to some of the viewers, so. Please respect everyone on the stream. You guys like in cab or. Third person? I guess this would be third person, outside cab view.
Thank you, Thatcher. Yeah, I think the engine sounds really good. Uh, for the most part, you can definitely tell it's struggling up the hills. Uh, for the most part, it's it's not the best detailed mod. I'm going to tell you that right now, but everything seems like it works. There's no errors with it, so it's a good mod in my book. All the lights work. Flashes work. Third person cab. Oh, it's tied up now. Thank you, Max. Oh, first person. Oh, looks like it might be first person. To be honest, uh... It's the first time I sprayed with these uh, shaders added, and holy cow, I cannot see where I spray. I don't know if you guys can, but I cannot see. This is going to be a streaky field. You ever go by them fields and see the yellow strips down them? Uh, I have only YouTube for four months, so obviously I have played Farming Sim for a while. Oh, thank you, Will. So it seems like we're tied up for first person and in the cab, so we will do a one for each pass so I think we're spraying soybeans which is kind of a farming sim uh, visits because usually you don't have to fertilize soybeans that much but you do in farming sim crop growing Oh, thank you, Michael. Uh, yes, yeah, so let's talk to tournament. So, basically, to be honest, it's kind of been hush hush. I haven't even got the official word. I've kind of heard secondary from other people that are Team 1. And I don't know exactly what Team 2 did, but. They did end up with more money than us in the end, but I don't know if uh, if it's uh, what happened, why they got disqualified, to, to be honest. So I was told that we won, of course, Spencer TV and Gorilla Man. Their team got second, and. It might have been a little unfair because I know Gorilla Man, I think, was on vacation and Spencer TV. So, but officially, I guess we won. I just haven't heard officially. I don't know if that makes any sense or not. Hey, Summer. I started... When did FS15? So it came out in October 14, right? I think. So I started in FS15. So I really got into... Well, I kind of dabbled... I guess with 13 but uh, I really started in FS15 
and that's when I really found mods, and that's when I really started enjoying the the game. I don't know if Spencer TV cheated or not, to be honest. So, I doubt he did, to be honest. I know he, like, Spencer TV, Mr. Chow, prayed a plank on us, but that didn't have much impact with the result, so. I thought it was funny, more than anything, so. Chow, he, he's a theft man. He's a little robber. Hey, Jack. Oh, did he? I haven't watched his new video yet. Spencer TV or the squad? Hey, Jordan. The lime and fertilizer spreader. Uh, almost all my mods are public, to be honest, so one time or the other, they were public. The problem is, a lot of times, modders will put them on a link site, and either they'll get downloaded too much, or they will just take them down. Chow stole all my bales? I think he stole just the bales we had stored at our uh, actual farmyard. Thanks, I like the sprayer too. I was really happy for the series because this is definitely a sprayer for an old iron series. And it's like very fitting for this, this height of corn I think. Because I don't know if you would consider this a high boy. I don't know. Uh, to be honest, I don't have a lot of knowledge with the uh, John Deere sprayers. Yeah, that's. It seems like in FS19, console isn't getting the amount of uh, mods they got in uh, 17. Guess I had to raise up my boom a little bit. I kind of had it way too far down. Yep. Volker Farms is a good map. I'm thinking about maybe doing... So I do... I'm going to have two series. And then I think I might once in a while do what they... A custom crew series. So I think I may... Uh, Go uh, get a contract by the Welker Farms Farm Brew or the boys there, and maybe I'll help them combine their their s spring wheat. I think it would be a good, just a thought. Uh, I do not play. Uh, Xbox. I only play PC. Hey, Riley. You guys want to go see our uh, watering hole here? You guys have to try this third person app. Or this mod, I mean. It's so trippy at first, but it's kind of cool. Walk around the...
so I, I really like this part. I'm walking backwards there. Got a nice windmill here. Old barn set up. Forgotten barn. Kind of cool. Yeah, to be honest, I didn't know somebody else did that, put them in the woods. I honestly thought one of my teammates was just trying to get them off the field. Didn't tell me. Oh well. I guess I found most of the bales, so he wasn't able to keep them all from me. Hey, thanks. JP so I I am using shaders the only issue with these shaders is uh, when you want to see the the darker tint of the uh, I guess the ground for spraying yeah kinda good luck with that you cannot tell the difference Thanks, Susan. So I currently live in uh, South Carolina. I get the heat and the humidity. It's nice here. Definitely a beautiful city and place to live. Yeah, I do need to get an older shop. That it shop. Uh, I was kind of looking for a good old shop to put on the farm. So I have a Predator computer. It's, uh, you can see my computer specs and the description, but it's a 1080 Ti. Yes, I serve, I'm active in the Air Force. Uh, I've been in the Air Force for a long, long time. So, let's just say I'm closer to retirement than being a newbie. Hey, James. Hey, thanks, Tanner. Yes, I, uh, I only really like playing farm sim realistic so uh, that's just the way I play is to me that brings the memories back I play farm sim because to be honest I kind of miss I'm a I grew up on a farm I was raised on a farm I worked on a farm before I went in the military and it kind of brings back the good memories I had on the farm and it's a relaxing game thank you Jim I did not play on the Minnesota map I don't know why I just never played on it in 19 there's just so many maps that I'd much rather I wanted to play on at uh, that time Disc by mower, huh? That would be nice. You work on a Ford F100 mod? So, the Ford F100 was one of our only Ford trucks. I would say it's our longest Ford truck on the farm. My dad was a huge Chevy fan, so we had a Ford F100, and that was, it was a work truck, so it was kind of beat up, but it was a good truck served us well kept on starting and it was a good old work truck took a lot of beatings we used to uh, I used to tag cattle with that truck so the mothers would run into it trying to protect their uh, calves when I'm tagging the cat calves in the ear so it was beat up
Uh, what do you guys want to see? Uh, we don't have to spray the whole time within reason. Uh, I guess we can swath the hay. It's ready. Or I guess I can drive around the map if you guys want to see the map. Let me know what you want to want me to do. So I've played farming sims since basically I think I started in uh, 2014. Not positive, but I know I started at the beginning when FS15 first came out. Oh, you have a good old little cabin? That would be kind of cool. Thank you, Farmer Jack. That's pretty cool. I'll take any mods, to be honest. I like... I respect modders because they put a lot of time and effort. And... It's something I can't really do. So, I definitely... Uh, this is a 6,000 sprayer. Well, that was weird. I just stood on the cab. So, 6,000 John Deere. It's got, I guess, centerline tank. It's a trike. I don't know... I think the 65, wasn't it... It wasn't a trike, was it? Yes, squad. It, I I currently serve now. So I I I work for the Air Force. Yes. So I think I don't know you guys probably have more mods than me, but the last time I checked my mod folder was at 700. Alright, Farmer Jack, I'll check it out after the stream. Uh, I don't have a 4960 on this series. I was thinking about upgrading to one, but I don't currently have one. It was... I, I was running out of money, so I'm trying to play I guess uh, as real as possible. So it's a new mod. Go on the Farming Sim uh, official site and there's a contest mod of uh, third person. It's pretty cool. You should check it out. Hey, thanks, Tanner. Yep, Spencer TV and a Gorilla Man put up one heck of a fight. Like, I was hoping to, like, be able to, like, harvest some corn and have some fun on that. But I was forced to, like, grow the cotton and, like, hit it strong to beat them. Uh, I will try to make uh, a link for most of it. I'm not going to link all my mods because I think that takes away from the modders. Because I think the modders should get the credit and should get uh, whatever money you get for downloads. So just the mods that I know you can't find anymore but were public at one time I might link them and for like this map and sooner or later I'll I'll even release my uh, save games too so yes I have seen the new DLC so I am happy for every American version DLC because we don't get them often American version DLCs are like the last one the true American version I remember was uh, the big bud pack so I don't 
I'm pretty sure it's American. I don't know a lot about cotton harvesters, to be honest, but it, pretty sure cotton is pretty big in America, so. I am not helping Squad currently with any of his videos, so that may be in the future. Oh, 4640. Hey, actually, after we get done, how about we go spread some poo with the 4640? Yes, I don't I don't know anything about cotton pickers in real life, so I don't know if the case makes a good uh, picker or not. I'm pretty excited for the John Deere. I forget the number on it, but that that's definitely gonna be a DLC I buy. Hey crazy white boy, Farmer Austin. It's South America. Yep, we will finish this round and then I'll go over there and uh, start headed to our grass field with the poo. With the poo. Gotta put some poo on the grass so it can re-fertilize our cattle's feed. It's like recycling. Oh, favorite tractor. Oh, man. That's a tough question right there. Favorite tractor. I think right now it's probably the 9RT. Thank you, Matthew. Bros Farm. So we're going to stop over here at a good stopping point. We'll probably jump up, back up on top of our cab. Shut this off for a bit. Jump up on our cab again. It's like kind of cool walking through the corn in third person. Dun, dun, walk backwards. Yeah, it does kind of look like Iowa. I've only been in Iowa a few times. So let's listen to this code starting uh, 4640. Yeah, that's how you know. We got a ways to go for a grass field. That's pretty cool, Farmer Austin. I wish I lived in the Corn Belt. I think that's what Iowa is, right? Call it the Corn Belt. Thanks, Gabe. I like this 4642. So, I guess the inside could maybe do use a little bit of, let's say, a FS19 touch, but I think the outside has some pretty good textures. And definitely the sound is spot on. I always love being able to see the smokestacks on these old iron John Deere's.
Live in Ohio. Ohio is another good state. Six hundred and thirty six. That's a lot of mods, JP. Illinois is a good farming state too. I think they they're able to do a lot of double crops in Illinois, aren't they? Thank you, party musician. So this is our grass field we own, and we're going to spread the poo so we can recycle it. Because the cows will just eat this right up. I don't know the spreading width of this, so... Ooh, look at that. Doesn't that make you hungry for some hot chocolate? I kind of like the... the graphics of this uh, spreader. It almost makes you smell the poo. Hog confinement series, yep. Uh, sooner or later, one of my series, I'm sure, will get really big into hogs. I like challenging myself and see how different challenges. Yep, 4440 is another good tractor. There are a lot of them made. Oh man, we already ran out? That's not good. That thing really shoots out the poo. I don't really... I don't... I think that was too quick, to be honest. I've only spread slurry for a few times, and... You... They at least last... They last for a fair good amount. Live in North Carolina. Yep, been up in North Carolina a lot. Man, I really love the. I think it's Smoky Mountains, right? North Carolina. Thank you, Madison. Mason, sorry. So, my daily driver is a 2018 uh, GMC Denali. Duramax. The 4955, that's another good tractor. 4020s, yep. There's a lot of good 4020s still around. Uh, I just asked, answered that, but, so it took me a while to think about it, but it, I think my favorite tractor so far in FS19 is, uh, the 9RT, John Deere. Wow, thousand cows. That's a lot of cows. Most cows we ever ran, we used to run yearlings on corn stalks for a feedlot, and we had, I think it was 900 some cattle. That was a lot of cattle. Wow, you have a case road track. That's pretty cool. Yep. Myrtle Beach is a nice place. I like Canadian farming because they farm big up there. And in farm sim, I like to farm big once in a while. 
I saw there's a Canadian map that's coming, well, just came out. Uh, was it Can Am or Cam Farm? I'm probably completely wrong. There's there's definitely a Canadian map that's in the farming contest. Fill this bad boy up. 7820, that's another good tractor. So, uh, old school Facebook, old school farming Facebook site? I think that's what it is. It, just type in old school. They There's a pretty big uh, old school community site. You can get it off there. It's in their posts, I think. Yeah, Can Farm. That's what it's called. I have not played on that map either. I'm going to at least try it. Yeah, I like this tractor. Just listen to the sound. Let's get a close up. Flipped a header trailer on Can Farm going around the corner. So how is that farm, by the, or that map, sorry. What do you think? What's your first impression of that map? Your grandparents have an old... Is that 8T or 8RT? You have a TW-15. Not sure the brand of tractor that is. 8400 is a good old tractor. Good map. I think I might try it out. I don't know if I'll do a series on it, but I, I might do a few farm. Maybe a custom crew on it. Uh, I may. I'm thinking about maybe doing a stream where I run a custom crew. It takes me a lot of time to get that all situated, but I definitely enjoy doing that. Alright, you guys ready for the hot chocolate? There we go. Just makes you hungry. Go get some chocolate milk. Yeah, I talk to uh, Grant once in a while. Eight T. I don't. I didn't even know they made that tractor. Australia map. I played on Western Australia. D21 Ellis Charmers. That's a good tractor, too. Man, I'm really running out of the poo here. Think we're gonna have to buy a holding tank or something.
Yeah, it makes me yummy too. Uh, yeah, probably not thirsty anymore either. Yeah, I wish I had some chocolate milk to drink. I don't know why I'm so thirsty for chocolate milk right now. 8110. I don't know if I have that mod. Oop, took out a sign. You see nothing. Uh, Welker Farms. So, I don't know if I'll do a series on Welker Farms yet. I, to be honest, I kind of like to stay on Midwest Horizons and, of course, this map, because this map is amazing. Uh, as of right now, I have no plans. I am definitely going to do a custom crew or two off Welker Farms. So, look forward to that, but at least that I will do. Yeah, no cop, no stop. I just take out the signs too. No cop, no sign. A 1066 International. Uh, I don't think I have a 1066. I think I have a 1266. So, we actually had a a 1266 on my farm so it kind of reminds me of it but it was a hydrostatic 1266 there's not many of them around super C my dad actually drove a super C when he was growing up You have a Fiat F1 140. I don't know anything about a Fiat. Yep. I know God. I'm a religious man. Ah. Uh, actually, I don't know if it was it. I think it was a... You might have caught me. I know it was a 66 in a hydro. I can't remember what it... What it was. I really thought it was a 1266. Now, now you're gonna stump me. I don't, can't remember. I'm older. 1976 Chevy would be nice. Yep. I used to drive a 1977 Chevy. A 1455. An old John Deere popper, huh? Is that one of them uh, cultivators that does it in the... Has the cultivator, like, in line with the tractor? Right underneath the... Between the axles? Thank you, Ryan. So this is Autumn Oaks. So I think, actually, we will jump in to our 24 valve. That's somewhere up here. 
and we will take a ride around this map Roll a little coal while we're going around the map. So right now, we are on basically the lower south side, a little bit east. We own all this land to the left and right of us. We also have this farmyard here. So this is kind of like the FS-17 Autumn Oaks, but bigger. So it's actually been extended. So all this to the left of you wasn't in FS-17. This channel, I will try to make a 1976 Chevy. Yep, that's a good old Chevy. So I'm not sure what was here, but I think I might have took something out. That was lagging the game right there. It's got this little farmyard. It's a good little farmyard. Got a look good a little cord cold storage there. Got some round bales for you. Got an old school barn here. A little. I'm not sure what this barn is. This is a cell point or what? It's got to be a cell point. I don't know. A drive through barn. A little house. Thank you, Wyatt. Nineteen forty four Alice Champers. So I have a Predator. If you're really curious on all the specs, you can look at the description, but it's it has a 1080 Ti. Uh, first tractor. First tractor. Hmm. I don't think it was a 7140. That. Now you stump me. I used to ride with my dad so often, I don't know the first time I drove a tractor. It might have been a 7140 case. Yes, I go to church. I'm religious. Yes, I'm definitely going to get the cotton DLC, so... I'm so excited to have an American DLC. So, I think it brings, to me, it just brings more realism because the case cotton picker was nice, but it, the bales it made was just kind of, they didn't seem realistic to me. So, we're right on the corner here. So all this that we're driving on right now was not in FS-17 map. There's a row closure, so that's the end of the map basically there. Oh yeah, I'm probably going to pre-order too. So this is Autumn Oaks Egg Fertilizer Equipment Sales Repair Seed Grain Haul Service Sales Wool sales and livestock auction. 
Got a little uh, shop there. I don't think this sell point works. So you have to have a mod for this map. Pretty sure these anhydrous tanks work, but they work just for fertilizer. There's not really an anhydrous mod out there yet. And this is your lime storage. Pretty sure this works too. Got some a big water tank there. This is obviously your uh, uh, livestock auction. And we got some more fertilizer over there. That might be dry fertilizer. Autumn Oaks Livestock Auction. It would be nice to get some uh, different style cattle like these are more American style like these black Angus white face got some pigs there got some red Angus in there looks like they're longhorns yep I kind of really like starting out with this older style equipment No problem, JP. Yeah, I really like that sprayer. Uh, I said earlier that you can find the sprayer on Old School Modding's Facebook site. Cody, I'm from Nebraska originally, so that's where I grew up on a farm at. Yeah, I'm really liking the third person. So, this coming up to our right is basically the farmyard I had to take out. So if any of you played in 2000 or FS17 when Autumn Oaks originally came out, this was a big, this was like the main farmyard here. There was like a little manure pit right here. Uh, and these, this land over here is contoured just like the map shows. So, in uh, FS17, this was actually had alfalfa. So that was kind of cool, but it doesn't have it in 19. I can't figure out how to get it, at least. Trent, yeah, I would like to live in Wisconsin, too. So when I retire from the military, I'm actually going to move away from uh, South Carolina. Yeah, Anderson, I guess, is American. For the most part, yeah, it's mostly American. Uh, I guess it just didn't feel that way to me. I guess the real American DLC that felt American to me was a big bud pack. But Anderson makes a lot of American equipment. I guess I just, they weren't big when I was farming I think they're more of a young comp company
I'm in the Air Force. I'm doing good. Thank you. Yeah, Wisconsin is probably God's country. So, to be honest, there's a lot of nice places to live in the U.S. See you later, Kyle. We will stream just a little bit longer. So this is the uh, cell point I had to put in. The Granary by Buster's Community. Put this here. Try to make it look as realistic as possible. Hi Miles. Nice little uh, overpass of the cr creek there. Country boy is from Tennessee. Tennessee's a good place to live too. It's a good sized farm, 2,000 acres. Thank you, Bob. Uh, yes, I have a few head of cattle. I'm starting out in this map. Not many. All right. Uh... To be honest, so I'm in the military, I have to wake up super early, so I can't stream too much later. I have to, uh, let's just say I wake up at 4.30 every morning. So if you actually see my channel when FS19 first came out. I actually made a farmyard right over here to the left. So it's a pretty good farm. Uh, at the time I was learning a lot so I probably wouldn't consider it my best work but it's definitely a nice farm too. So it was right over here to the left of me. Check that out if you want. Uh, usually I drink coffee because I need to wake up because it's 4.30 in the morning. As a John Deere B R N B A B. Thank you, Russ. Definitely takes a while to go around these windy roads. So, I will go back to the farmyard and I think we're going to cut it out. Just so you guys know. Here's another farmyard to the left. This is uh, Autumn Oaks cows, so I think you can actually get, uh, you're able to raise cattle there. It's not just uh, fake cattles or...
Uh, what's wrong with the face cam? I don't know. I'll have to look. Uh, I have never got a care package from a fan, Bubba, to be honest. I'm catching air, am I? I don't know. Hey, Tootsie. Alright, guys. Thanks for joining the stream. Sorry we, we have to end it, but... Really appreciate you guys, and you were definitely fun to stream tonight. Thank you for all your support. Thank you for all your comments and your helpful advice you give me in all my videos. And I will see you later on Automokes.